Datuk Tawalingam Tawaraja, a partner and specialist in employment law at Lee Hishamuddin, Ellen and Gladhill, joins me on this Invest KL series. How does the employment law in Malaysia compare to other countries in the region? Well, we're not as extreme as Singapore um, in that um, our labour laws are very, you know, it's based on the Commonwealth uh, uh, system. So we're very similar to Australia, the UK and uh, India. Um, where the whole concept is uh, security of tenure. Yeah, so, When you say not as ex- extreme as Singapore, mm-hmm. what do you mean by that? Because in Singapore, you can fire at will. You know, you just rely on the contract and, and um, it's very commercial. Whereas in Malaysia, you can only uh, bring a contract to an, to an end by a little bit cause. So we have um, basically three main areas for cause, which is, uh, I call it PMR, which is performance, misconduct and redundancy. Yeah. What are the steps that you need to take in order to fire somebody in Singapore? I'm sorry, in Malaysia? In Malaysia, well, it really depends. If, if he's surplus your requirements, then he's redundant. Then you, you, you know, for each, like for redundancy, there's uh, a procedure that you have to follow, you know, like uh, you will have to demonstrate that uh, the position is really surplus and you have complied with the last in, first out principle, the life for principle. Um, if it's performance, um, then you will have to basically have the paper trail to demonstrate that the employee's shortcomings have been brought to his or her attention, and he or she uh, uh, have been given you know sufficient opportunity to improve before you actually embark on a termination for performance. And if it's misconduct, then you know they say no person shall be condemned unheard. So either a show cause letter or uh, a domestic inquiry will precede uh, the the termination. Is it? What is the compensation for a uh, staff that is terminated in Malaysia? Well, now, if, if, he, if he seeks reinstatement at the industrial court, the maximum uh, compensation is 24 months back wages, uh, last round salary. And uh, if reinstatement is not ordered, in addition to back wages, uh, co- uh, they call it compensation in lieu of reinstatement at one month for every year of service. So if it's done 20 years, then it's 20 months. And you add that with uh, 24 months... 44 months, multiplied by his last round salary, and that's your maximum exposure. So are expat CEOs covered under the Malaysian laws as well? Yes, they have a limited security of tenure uh, to the, until the expiry of uh, their contracts or their, uh, their work permit. You know? So if they are terminated, uh, they would be entitled to seek recourse because the, the, the Industrial Relations Act defines a workman as any person engaged under a contract of service as opposed to an independent contractor as long as they engage under a contract of service yeah, as opposed to for service, it doesn't make any uh, distinction between locals or expatriates. You know, they all have that, 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 that right to seek that recourse. But of course, reinstatement is not usually granted to uh, an expat because um, his tenure is limited. Isn't it? So for multinationals who are thinking of setting up their operations in Malaysia, um, what, are, what are some advice you have for them to make sure they set things up correctly from the start? Get a good HR manager, get a good legal advisor. Get a good lawyer. Yeah, get a good lawyer. <laughs> so at least you, you, know your, you know the do's and don'ts, you know, whether, it's a, whether you have a union, um, you know, um, the terms and conditions of the contract, you know, um, issues like probation. You, know, you, you must protect yourself. And you know, pro- a probationary clause is very important because it works both ways. It's for the employer to assess the suitability of the employee and it's also for the employee to see whether he likes to work in the organisation. So during the probationary period, it's easier for the parties to part ways, is it? Uh, as opposed to once you are confirmed, then, you know, then the security of tenure sets in and then you will be burdened with the process. Is it? But if, if you get it right, there's no issue. You know, it, the, the, the problem that arises is when the employer doesn't follow the basic principles of natural justice and procedural fairness because, you know, you go back to the basic uh, principle of no person should be condemned unheard. You know, you must know what the allegation against you is and you'll be given the opportunity to rebut it. Is it? So, but what is tricky is often um, redundancies, right? How mm. do you actually prove redundancies? Like if there are too many levels of management, is it, is it that easy to prove? It's not easy, but at the end of the day, you know, if a person is surplus, he's surplus. I mean, you, you would have to establish, you know, you, you're not going to pay a guy to do nothing, you know. So, um, I mean, there, there, there are times where some companies delay, uh, you know. But before they do all that, usually it's good to start on, you know, to embark on a voluntary separation package, you know. So people just leave on in, on their own accord, you know, when they know that their time is up and, you know, then uh, there is no, no issue of... Um, 
uh, unfair labor practice, etc. So that that is one easy way out. The guy is duly compensated for his. Uh, and this will tenure. be the maximum twenty four months or so. No, no. The 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 VSS is very much uh, open what, negotiation. Yeah, exactly. What what you can afford. I mean, it's pointless giving a VSS if you can't even afford to pay. So you know, some companies give one point five for every year of uh, one point five month for every year of service, because you want the employee to leave. To bite the carrot, you see. I mean, you, otherwise the guy will say, you, said, you might as well sack me, I'll get more money uh, in court then, you know. So that's the, that's the situation. Thanks so much for speaking with us. Sure. Datuk Tavalingam Tavaraja, partner at Hishamuddin, Ellen and Gladhill.